Hello and welcome to this short video that looks at one use of electromagnets and how to answer an exam question based on this use. The best way to go and use this video is to go and download the question following um, the links in the uh, description below. Go and watch the video, make sure at any point if you are unsure of anything you either go and rewind it and make sure you pause it because there's lots of information. <laughs> the short answer questions go and fill out as you're working through and then finally you can use those answers to the shorter questions to help answer those longer questions which quite often come up on exams and are where people often lose marks. So, an electromagnet is a temporary magnet made using a magnetic field that's generated around an iron core. The way that we go and do this is to get an iron core, wrap a coil of wire around it, and put a current through it. As that current passes through the coil of wire, it generates a magnetic field. That magnetic field lines up all of the ions inside the iron core so they're all facing in the same direction which makes one end of the iron core north and one end south thereby turning it into a magnet some ways or some things that affect our electromagnet the more coils of wire you wrap around the iron core the greater the strength of the electromagnet physically putting an iron core in it increase the strength and increase in the current that flows through the electromagnet also strengthens it. So the particular use of an electromagnet that we want to look at is in circuit breakers. Circuit breakers can come up both in questions looking at electromagnets all questions looking at electrical safety. Remember, a circuit breaker is something that will go and turn off a circuit if the current becomes too high. So there are a few key features in our circuit breaker. We've got the electromagnet, we've got a switch, and we've got a plunger that's going to go and hold the switch in place and some springs so things can spring apart. So the way that it works is that a spring-loaded push switch is held in the closed position at the end of a iron bar. When it's in that closed position, the current can go and flow through the circuit. An electromagnet is arranged so that it can pull the bolt away from the switch. Right, remember, that as the current increases in the electromagnet the strength of the electromagnet is going to increase so when the live wire carries the usual operating current the electromagnet is not strong enough to separate the contacts however if something goes wrong and the current becomes a lot, a lot larger the strength of the electromagnet will increase as the strength of the electromagnet increases it will pull the bolt out from the, uh, the plunger that's holding the switch in place. So because the plunger is on springs, that will spring up and the switch will go and be turned off, therefore breaking the circuit and turning off the current. So, some of the key things to think about when answering a question like this. So we need to think about what turns an electromagnet on. Remember, you need to talk about the current that's flowing through it, how that current is going to affect it. You need to talk about what happens to the bolt when the electromagnet becomes strong enough. So remember that when the electromagnet becomes strong enough, it's going to pull the bolt towards it. 
you'll need to go and talk about what happens to the plunger that's on a spring as the bolt's pulled out. So remember, if we pull out the bolt, it springs up, it closes, well, it opens the switch, which goes and breaks the circuit. So, one example of a question that you could be asked is to explain what happens when a current larger than 15 amp flows. Sometimes they give you the answer that's been started, sometimes they don't. On the activity that's included, the answer has been started for you. It's usually worth four marks. Go think about the answers and how you have answered the shorter bits and try and go and do a nice fully rounded question, uh, answer to a question. If you're unsure about anything, just go back and go and re-watch it.